<laughs> and that's the way we kick it off. Send it Sunday this week. The classic mass plant duck jive fail. <laughs> That, there's the, that is the, one of the best crashes in windsurfing. Can you do the duck jibe? If you're watching this video and you can't do the duck jibe, you better follow this next section because we're still in Pozo. We haven't had the crazy conditions that we're used to. Has it been very bad? Well, by Pozo standard, yes. By normal windsurfing standards, there'll be lots of you out there going, shut up moaning, you're on four sevens, you've got small waves, it's pretty fun. Yes, but it's relative to what we're usually getting. We're usually getting crazy action. Just check this footage from May. Yeah, it, this is what we're used to seeing, like just crazy big jumps. You know, like mad bales, like big wave hits, like all the crazy stuff in windsurfing is what we come here for. The best guys in the world are doing the World Cup in less than a week. We're usually here following the action, the story writes itself, but this year, no, if you've been following, you will know we haven't had it. So we've got a few good stories for you this week because we have had conditions which are very unlike Pozo. Yeah, down the line. So I said in the last video, yeah, so it was pretty obvious where we were going, but we scored. I say we scored. There was two days south swell, and you can go either a little bit further south or a little bit further north, two spots. So Alessio Steelrich kind of went north, scored some small waves down the line, looked pretty fun, but there's a few surfers out. So that was sort of one option. And then the other option was a little bit further south than Pozo. Um, and it was kind of funky. It, it really, the spot is kind of tide dependent. And when the tide reaches a certain height, you get this backwash uh, because it sort of bounces off the shore and it can be a bit funny. So when you're lining up for the wave, you kind of get this wave that pushes out and it really upsets you. And some of the best guys in the world were struggling. Yeah, there was some pretty tasty crashes. Obviously, Mark Pere, you can see who's there. That nasty one. Oh. He hurt his shoulder in that crash. Now, it looks like, you imagine if his foot stayed in. Oh man, it's not worth thinking about, is it? It just comes around. Um, I also saw Victor Fernandez end up on the beach. Yeah, washed up on the beach. Ex-world champion many times, Victor Fernandez. It wasn't an easy spot, that backwash. I mean, he was swimming around in the shore break, washing up and washing down for quite a while. But they did get some decent hits. And actually, I got there to film a little bit late. So as I was walking down to the beach, I saw some goiters and saw some other sort of crazy stuff going on. Uh, but there was some, like I said, decent hits. Uh, Moritz Malk uh, was out there as well Liam Dunkerbeck like I said not easy conditions but the next day it actually got a little bit better it was a little bit of a, a more lower tide so the the bounce back wasn't as as big um, and yeah the moves were getting thrown down some nice aerials going down I actually got out there I was on a quite a small kit like four or five and the 78 because that's kind of all I bought to Poser this year but I had a little fun session uh, and it was nice just to do something a little bit different here in Poso. so it's not all bad news that is for sure um, so we've had like sessions like that we've had kind of small Pose Pozo, 4.745, the wind picked up a bit yesterday before it just went mentally crazy. The wind come from the south. I saw a video, someone was riding the other way around and there's like this whirlwind in the middle of the bay. It's like funky. I think when the wind goes too far north, it goes around the other side of the hill and then it comes back around this way. I don't know, I'm not a local, I don't quite know how the weather patterns work, but it was pretty weird. And it's very hot at the moment in Pozo. So I think all these things are not adding up. So it looks like the winds drop now until the World Cup starts. And the World Cup starts in less than a week. So I will get back to those duck jibes in a minute. Don't, uh, don't worry. Um, but like I said, World Cup starts in a week. We have got slalom and the slalom guys have started turning up. The Keen Beans, Matteo Iacchino, Blanca Alabao are in the house. Yes, they've been out there uh, blasting around, trying to get used to the conditions, although we haven't had pozo conditions, but maybe the competition, we're not gonna have normal pozo conditions. We might see bigger slalom gear. They have had the foil out and it looks tricky to get in the water. I saw Blanca 
anchor going in the other day and you could just see her feet on the stones they're quite slimy at that low tide it's pretty awkward you know and it wasn't that windy that day um but then I, obviously i've seen the fin out there training nico preen is here as well the youtuber he is here training up uh, the swede although he broke his mass the other day and i think nico preen had to tow him in so uh yeah it i, I don't know how the slalom's going to go this year there's going to be three days of it but i am definitely looking forward to it i'm just crossing my fingers it's windy windy slalom although looking at the forecast i think we might be seeing the foils i know there's a few of you don't want to hear that but i think it will happen um matt check rakoski just turned up last night so um, are they going to get much training before the action actually kicks off? I don't know. So what has been going on in the meantime? A um, lot of wave sailors turned up. The young guns. The young guns are here. And they're here in force. I tell you what, I've seen uh, the guys I fe featured on the channel the other day. Yeah, the nippers from uh, near Tree for like Cadiz Way. Uh, they've just got some simmer sails and that little Ezzy sail from Eric. And Eric has been flying around. And it's so funny. You're filming the action and you just see this tiny little sail just out there. That's just so cool, you know, even getting into the beach, his mom has to help him up because of the way the rocks are and stuff. But he's been having a great time. He's been out nearly every day. Uh, and I kind of think if we'd have had normal pozo, maybe he wouldn't have been getting some water time. The other boys as well have been, uh, been going well. And then the older juniors, you know, the ones that are maybe growing out of the juniors now. Takara just turned up, Takuma, so the Japanese crew are here. And they've been throwing down the moves. Um, Johannes on the drone filmed uh, Takuma and a few others, Leonard Neubauer the other day um, with the drone and there's some crazy freestyle action. So if you haven't checked out his channel, check out his channel. He's been here making up those uh, videos. Uh, we've seen a few crashes, but not the crazy stuff we used to. You know what I mean? It's not It's not what we used to. Uh, Tobias Bjorn, another young gun turn up from Denmark. We got Carlos uh, Kiefer, again, local, but hasn't had much sailing. And that's kind of been the general theme. So that's kind of it for the World Cup update. But I'm going to update on Johannes. So Johannes has obviously been finding the drone, getting some sick shots. Um, but he's also been windsurfing. Yes. And he's sort of intermediate going in, wants to learn to forward. Um, and I said to him the other day, though, can you duck jibe? He's like, no, I think I tried one years ago, but I, I, you know, I haven't really done that much windsurf, so I haven't tried it. I said, right, okay, every jibe you do has to be a duck jibe and you can't come in until you do a planing one. Yeah, and this, <laughs> that's kind of not how it went. That was like an exception to the rule, but it's such a great crash. If you guys out there can't duck jibe, get on the program. This summer, you need to learn to duck jibe. Set yourself goals like that. Like, I am not going to do any other jibe apart from a duck jibe. It really does help. I gave him a few little tips and literally he went out and learnt to duck jibe. He is now duck jibing. No joke. And they're just from a few little tips. So you can get those tips. They're easy. They're online. They're everywhere. Maybe I'll make a motivational video for you guys. But just choose. The duck jibe is one of the best jibes out there. And a lot of the time you can come out easier planing from a duck jibe than a normal jibe. I know. So why aren't you doing it? If you're on eight meter sails, I get it. But if you're on anything a little bit smaller than that, as soon as you get into the six meter range, you should be attempting or doing duck jibes. It's on. Has he done a planing one yet? No, not on camera. So watch this space. We're coming at you. Um, also, I was attacked the other day on the beach. Yeah, I was attacked by Marco. He wanted to learn to forward. I think he had like a snippet. He's here from Holland. Uh, he had a snippet over in Tenerife with Colin Whippy Dixon, but then had to get on the plane before he could kind of really get it done. So he sort of said, Ben, can you give us some tips? Can you do us a little clinic? And I was like, well, I'm quite busy, but you know what? This is definitely going to be good for the camera. So yeah, let's have a go. Let's, let's have a film. Let's see where he's up to. So again, give him a few tips, send him out there. How did he get on? Yeah, pretty good. Check out these. I mean, he definitely had the brain. It, it, I think he's one of those sailors that should have been forward looping probably a while ago. And it is there. Everything is there. It just needed the push, needed the motivation, few little tips. Again, with, with learning a move, sometimes 
people try and focus on too many things and I think wow. you've got to focus on the, the motivation, the energy to do it and one thing and then see where you go and then tweak from there. If you've got too many different things to do, everything will happen too slowly and in a forward loop it has to happen quick so you have to have movement, you have to have like movement patterns that when you do one thing, other things happen. If you have a tick list in your head, you're going to be too slow. But Marco definitely nailed it. He didn't sail away from one but I tell you what, if you're looking at this video, now you will see that's definitely a success I think one more day he's gonna nail one properly so good job Marco good job um, also got to thank everyone for chipping in the beers you and there is a problem I've got to say there's a problem so when I ask for beer money you know, not everyone is that uh, uh, <laughs> switched on on the internet. They don't know how to put it in. They don't know how to click on the link. So when they see me, they buy me beers. Now, this is great. Sometimes <laughs> it can be difficult to film. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely fun. So massive thanks to everyone uh, for chipping in the beers legends here. These are the new members of the channel. You guys supporting the channel and making the videos flow. Like I say, Alfie Hart is turning up just before the World Cup. We're going to cover the World Cup windsurfing TV style as well as all the other stuff I'm doing for the live stream because we are going to be live streaming the slalom and the waves. Uh, so uh, stay tuned 100%. And if you're thinking of coming to Pozo, if you're thinking, Ben, the conditions you've got there are actually frigging great i don't care what you're saying it's a bad year i want to go to pozo well you should come just book your flight ring pozo wins yes i did say pozo wins they've got all the gear for hire uh they can probably just give them a ring or go on the website probably go on the website because they can sort everything out if you're looking for accommodation they've got you covered if you need any advice they've got you covered so pozo wins is definitely the best and happiest shop in pozo Yes, 100%. And they're supporting Windsurfing TV. And they've supported us from day dot before we even started doing these diaries, before anybody wanted to be involved. So uh, a massive thanks to them for the continued support. Um, and we're going to finish with, obviously, some surf bargains. Yeah! Surf bargains, yeah! Surf bargains. Yes, the surf wagons, and this is a Pozo special because I saw these pictures the other day on the Pozo Wins Facebook page. Check out this for a surf wagon. Yeah, this is in Pozo back in the day before any of this was built, before, well, just in the early days. I heard this is Susie May's dad. I think I read that. Susie May obviously went on to be a professional kiteboarder and stuff, but back in the day, obviously, dad was a windsurfer. But just check out the footage or the car. Check out the surf wagon. Look at the roof one piece mast anyone remember the one piece mast the you know swept back fins but then you look also look at pozo and the beach crazy absolutely crazy so there you go that is it uh, for this week on send it sunday here in pozo uh, massive thanks to you guys and well, there's only one thing left to say that no matter where you are in the world don't forget to send it